Boom, guys. Listen, we're back. Today, we're going to talk about diet, okay? I get this question all the time. It says, I look good. What do I eat in a day? And recently, I've started to become more serious about it, okay? It's very easy here in Bangkok, Thailand to go on the app and order something nice. Not that I eat complete dog shit, but, you know, I eat a chicken wrap. It's good, you know, uh, some steak, some rice. But I don't have the exact count. And also, I want to make sure, maybe you heard about this, the gut, the gut biome, it's very important for health. Apparently, apparently. I don't know that much about it, but uh, we're gonna, I have a new diet now, essentially, where I'm going through a process of elimination. So we're starting at, with the bare minimum. So I know uh, that exactly what I eat. I know, about, I, know, I know exactly what I eat. And then we can see if uh, that changes the, the way I feel, the way I uh, perform, right? For example, right now, my skin isn't that good. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I'm doing this, because I want to see what's actually causing me to have bad skin. A part of it comes from just boxing, boxing gloves, rubbing on my skin all the time, and being sweaty. And that's a part of being a, an athlete and training a lot. But we can still try and find improvements still, okay? That's what this is all about. Always striving for improvement. Hey, can we do something about this? Yes, we can, all right? So we've gone ahead. I started this a few days ago. And it's so easy to be consistent when you have a course just like this, right? You look, I look myself in the mirror like, hmm, this could be better, right? Um, and I'm like, yeah, let's try this. So right here, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm eating currently and like my breakfast because I just made breakfast. And first of all, we have organic eggs, okay? Organic free-range eggs. This is from a company called Hill Tribe Organics. Not sponsored, but hey, feel free if you're seeing this Hill Tribe. So we're eating a lot of eggs. Good, good amount, uh, both raw uh, or scrambled, as we have here for our breakfast, right? Then we have Greek yogurt, okay? Yogurt. So this is, this is dairy, I guess, but I'm still... Uh, well, I heard a lot of good stuff about it for when it comes to the gut, so we're trying this and seeing if it helps. I actually like the natural taste, the neutral taste of it, so it, no, it's not actually sweetened uh, by anything. So this is just uh, natural flavored, which some, some of you might like, might like, might not like, but I think it has actually a, quite a good taste. Um, then what I've done is I, there's this company that delivers meal prep foods uh, or meal prep meals or yeah here in, here in Thailand in Bangkok I don't know if it's a global company it's called Paleo Robbie not sponsored either but hey if you're watching it's Paleo Robbie feel free uh, we I've ordered I've ordered some custom meals here so this one is I don't know if you guys can see this it says build your own chicken okay so I put chicken in there I put broccoli I put sweet potato uh, like sweet potato uh, like boats like it's like honey glazed sweet potatoes you can choose from the website it's quite cool actually building your own but the chicken was okay in flavor it's decent um, but there's this one other one beef one it's like steak sweet potato and then there's this uh, almond spinach uh, mix with some chili. This is so good. This is insanely good. The problem is it's, it's a lot of sweet potato though. So when you order the sweet potato, you get a lot of sweet potato. And it kind of takes over it. So sometimes you throw out one of these wedges. Wedges, that's the name. I just throw them out. I don't want to eat them because it's too much sweet potato. Um, not because of any carbs or any macros, just because just, it just overpowers the whole meal. So um, that's some of the food. I'm going to show you guys some other stuff. I'm not going to do a full fridge tour, but I went to the grocer today and I've got some stuff here. We have this. And we have sunglasses. And then we have... All right, I think this is it. This is essentially all. I'm going to put this here on top so you guys already know what's here. First of all, <clears throat> Excuse me. 
juice, right? I love fruit. I like fruit. I think fruit makes me fruit makes me feel light. It makes me feel good to, uh, good to perform. So they have this DIY. You can make your own juice over at the grocer. Amazing, right? It's uh, this is some mango, orange, pineapple, ginger uh, mix. That's cool. We have butter, grass fed, like you know the hard butter. You don't want the soft butter because that's usually like. Margarine, you don't want margarine, you want grass fed. Fucking straight from the cow's tits, right? Then, uh, I'll do this first. Mango, this is fresh fruit, right? Got this from the grocery as well. Love fruit, mangoes especially. These are crazy good, insanely good. Uh, blueberries, and here we have raw ginger, okay? You just peel this and you eat it. It's quite spicy, but it's good for you, all right? I feel good. So. Uh, that's essentially what we're eating right now. That's essentially how I changed up my diet. This is the only thing I'm eating. Can you believe that? Essentially, um, maybe I'll throw in some rice here and there. I haven't for now. Uh, it's not actually, I don't know if it's actually the best time to do this because I have an ultra marathon race coming up really, really soon. So, and when you're in an optimization phase, changing up your diet is usually not the best uh, time to do it because during optimization phase, before competition, before events, you want to know exactly what works for you to get in that uh, peak condition. And that's not the time to switch up diets. You want to eat mainly the same stuff, good quality stuff. Fortunately for me, this is all good quality and it's very similar to what I ate before. It's just a bit more structured. That's what's so good about this. Um, for my breakfast today, I'll show you guys. We have scrambled eggs, this is just five. And then we have a whole tub of Greek yogurt. This is like a kilogram almost of uh, Greek yogurt. Put some blueberries in there. In the mornings, I like to keep it light. All right? I keep my breakfast as light. That's to avoid a food coma, okay? A total collapse of mental, and cog uh, like mental ability and cognitive ability when I'm doing my work, when I'm doing uh, work for my clients, for my content, everything like that. Uh, by the way, if you want to work with me on building uh, your fitness, your mindset, and learning more about this stuff, for example, then you can check, check the link. I have a link down there in the description, and you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's not free, but I will get the results. I guarantee that. Um, so, for that's for breakfast, right? The meal there, some Greek yogurt, and some eggs. Simple, right? Now, I'll do some work. I'll, of course, I'll tell you this too. I don't eat until work has been done. There has to be some form of work that has been done. It can even be a very tiny amount, but it has to be work done. This is a primal thing. We had to go hunt to get the meal. It's the same. We gotta keep that. It's a very, very strong mental thing to, and a mindset thing to be able to say, hey, if I don't work, I don't get the food. Very simple. It's a reward thing. Um, and so that's for breakfast. Eat that after some work has been done. Uh, or a workout. Usually I run in the morning. Um, so then I'll have my breakfast after that. I do my first run usually fasted. I just feel good. There's no, really ben no real benefit to it that I've noticed other than I get more shredded of course. But I do it mostly because of the mindset thing. It's just getting some water in there, getting some co uh, coffees in there. And then just going for a run. Amazing. And also I do my ab work um, on certain days. Uh, just like my um, clients, I do exactly the same um, days for that as my clients. Usually it depends on their needs, of course. Uh, but for like a post, like a later in the day meal, I'll do something like this. Eat one of these with the, I'll actually show you guys this. I'll open this up and I'll show you. All right, maybe the camera isn't optimal for this, but so this is like a, a chimichurri sauce. I, haven't, I don't like that, it's a bit spicy. Um, it's decent, I put a bit on there, but we have beautiful, beautiful steak here. Beautiful sweet potato, beautiful spinach and almonds. So I'll usually eat one of those. It's quite a hefty meal. I'll get you guys the macros here. Calories, 1,072. Protein, 61 grams. Fats, 66 grams. Carbohydrates, 87 grams. And uh, yeah, it's just simple as that. 
it's very nice when you have these meal prep meals because you can basically just open it and you have it ready. So for me, uh, with the work I do, time is of the essence and I don't like to cook for long amounts of time. Um, and so do, using a meal prep service like this really is good for me. Uh, not, not sponsored again, uh, but if you're in Thailand, you can check out Paleo Robbie. got good stuff there. All organic and stuff too. So uh, really, really good stuff. But it's usually some that, like some meat later in the day. Some meat like this. Uh, and then I'll usually have in the evening something similar. Uh, and I'll also usually uh, have a few raw eggs in a glass and then just blast uh, off to bed. Um, so eggs before you go to bed is really good for testosterone. My friend Jack also recommends that, having some eggs before you go to bed, raw, uh, just because um, body builds testosterone during the night, okay? Usually, the body builds it during the hours uh, around 2 a.m. because of the circadian rhythm. So if you're going to bed, if, you're, if your sleep schedule is a bit messed up like that, you might be uh, sacrificing some of your testosterone production just because of that. Uh, you're not allowing the body to perform optimally like that. But uh, my schedule is pretty varied and I'm still out here with like 3,000 nano gazillion grams of testosterone naturally in my body. So it works out. Um, but yeah, this is essentially what I am going to be eating. Like I said, I started this, like getting the structure down fully uh, for this just a few days ago. And this is not, the, some, not something that is new to me, being structured with my food. I have counted macros for a very long time, um, especially during my uh, time uh, after the military. I was very structured. I used the app MyFitnessPal. If I log in there now, I can see uh, I can look back all the way back to like 2000 and what was it? 2015. It's crazy because I can see all my old meals and stuff. It's really cool to see. Um, but tracking for me, uh, tracking food in general has been really helpful for me. Uh, it allows you to figure out exactly okay what works and what doesn't work, what needs to improve, and what uh, can we go, where can we go lower, especially when it comes to the macros of protein and carbs and uh, fat. So that's also something I can help you out with if you decide to work with me, by the way, by checking the link below. But um, yeah, high protein, of course, as always, you got to get that protein and most important thing. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys a bit of my diet. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, by the way, just drop them down in the comments and I'll, I'll help you out, all right? And yeah, I gotta get this breakfast eaten before uh, it gets cold, all right? Take care and God bless. Boo!